Most of us, at some time of our lives, experience back trouble, shoulder or neck pains, hip or knee problems. When we experience these structural difficulties, the direction of treatment recommended by the medical profession usually results in a visit to a physiotherapist or, yet worse, to the surgeon's office. Now here today we are investigating an alternative that requires a commitment and a discipline. It's called the mitzvah technique. And we are now in the home and studio of Malka Nehemia Cohen. Nehemia is the founder and the identifier of this incredible technique and he together with his wife Malka are the directors and the teachers of this centre for this alternative. Now let's go and meet them and find out about this fascinating alternative. That's one of the worst, worst posture pattern, especially when you stand up here and you poke your head, it's one of the worst. Why? Because there's a big artery pass through the neck vertebra which supplies blood to your brain. So we squeeze two of this artery which supplies blood to your brain. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So now he, he already poking there so much forward, but you don't see it. Look, it's hidden. You can't see no neck at all. No neck at all. There's no neck. That's no neck at all. It's hidden inside. Well, we had to change all this posture to lift up then the spine, then the neck is going to go higher. It's going to, to elongate. What? Now, let's see what we do. Head down, sit on the table. Uh, use both hands, support yourself. Lie down, sideways, keep the head down. And from here, like, eh? Now lie down on your back. Go on your back, and that's what you do. There we are. So, I've got to do, what to do, is to unlock the head. To try to move this head. Look how much force I use. Look how much force. You feel the force? Eh? The world, the head doesn't turn. Doesn't turn not right, not left. Why? Because the head is jammed. Lock up a spine. Now he's pushing the head on the pillow by force. But he's not aware. You see how he's relaxed? Very relaxed. Again, watch again. Look how much force I use. Do you feel the force? Yes. Here. So what we do here? Any act we do in life, the neck muscles take part in the act and tighten it up, that nature. If you sit in a chair, we stand up in a chair, the neck muscles take part in the act, tighten up. Mm -hmm. If we lift a hand, lift the leg, we lift, uh, we take, uh, we, we take a uh, hold of a uh, phone, we lift up a book, we even we, we sing, even we talk, this natural tendency of the neck muscle to take part in the act and neck muscle tighten up. That's natural. In our case, most people, they over tighten neck muscles. Some of the people tighten muscles all the time, all the time, all the time. So as we said, the neck is the mirror of the body, where the neck release tension, where the neck put pressure. That's where accumulate the tension and stress. Anything you have in your body, anything stress fly, it goes right to the neck. Everything neck, neck. It piles and muscle becomes so tight, so short, that the jumps and the head lock the spine, like in case here. So what they do here? I ask my wife, come here, my wife here, to ask to do an act. We're going to ask her to do the act. We're going to ask her bend the knee. It's an act which triggers the neck muscle to tighten up. So what I do in this case here, I have placed the head in place. I don't allow this triggering power to put so much pressure in the neck. I change the neck. Wait, wait, my leg, wait. Bend the knee. Very good. Thank you. So we did two acts, say. Eh? Watch now, watch. Two fingers, watch you. Maybe it won't work. For sure it works. Look, easier. Two fingers. What I did, I changed the neck. When I changed the neck, it changed the whole body. Now we're going to do it more easier. We're going to ask Alan, lift the pelvis up and down. Lift the pelvis up and down. Okay. Lift the pelvis up and down. Up and down, up and down. So my hand is on top of the head. My other hand, not in the neck, under the skull. What I do, I scan the neck muscles. 
I see which muscle is pulling so much to the side, here or there. I change him, my change those muscles pressure by a technique. It's an out, very high out of work. That was up and down. Can I ask you? Again. Again. Beautiful. Now what I did here, watch easy now. Beautiful. Eh? Now better. Le now change the neck. Now more change will happen to him. He's not finished this. This will bring more changes to the entire body. Now in order that the pattern won't go back again, we ask him, look, and get up, sit and chill. Now tell, tell yeah. them uh, why sit is up the here. Down? Keep the head down. Oppa. And this way here, stand up here. Lift up your body up. Now watch what we're going to do. After that, we take him from here. Now change taking place. Now it's easy to work with him on standing up or on his chair. We're going to now to work him on standing up. See what happens to your body. Tell them see why now the neck. You see the neck now? See now it bends more. See, before I didn't do it. Now here, we box the head forward. When the head poke out of alignment to the spine, we're in trouble. Why, why do you tell him to put the head down? is to avoid the head to track backward and compress squeeze the spine. Because he squeezes all the time, the head there. He squeezes all the time. Now there's a motion here, before no motion. Okay. Before you saw it, when he lay down, his heart could put here. Now I could put the head more down, because I changed it already. Nehemia, can you explain to me what you actually do with the neck? Well, madame, it's very, very hard to explain, but I'll try my best. I try my best. It's an art work which you have to ask many times in order that you understand this. Hopefully that you understand. Now, what do you do? I take the head here. I don't touch the neck at all. My head is under the skull. Some of the fingers is touching the neck muscles, not the, not the, not the neck, mm -hmm. not the bones, the neck muscles. So we're going to ask him bend right knee, bend the right knee, Alan. As he bend the knee, mm -hmm. triggers the neck muscle tighten up. I see which muscles are over tightening up, so I change it. Mm -hmm. Then ask him again to bend the left knee. Then we ask him lift the pelvis up and down. Now all these acts trigger the neck muscle tighten up. As we said, that every act we do in life, the neck must take part in the act. This acts bring tension to the neck, mm -hmm. neck tighten up. I see which ones overdo, which ones so tight, become like a tendon rather than elasticity. Mm -hmm. Then I change it. How I change is a technique which is very hard to describe. But as I'm looking here, it looks like you're just holding. What are you actually doing under there? What is there something in your hands, the sensitivity? What, what is happening just there? Do you feel anything, Alan? No, I know what. Now what I do, don't ask me to ask me, madame. <laughs> now what I do here, I put my hand under the skull. Mm -hmm. Some of the fingers are scanning the neck. Now I'm going to change it. He won't feel it, what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. He won't feel sure. So it's yeah, actually what I a do, subtle I movement. I take the head here and I position the head in mm -hmm. a place. Monsieur, now I need less here. See? Yeah, I need less now. Uh -huh. yeah, already. Yeah. So now I position the head in a place. Then when you put the position of the head, less squeeze in the spine, the must have to change. Mm -hmm. Must have changed, the body changes. No, um, so you, you have a school here for students here learning the mitzvah technique. I train people here in my work called the mitzvah technique. How long does this, uh, how long does it take to have this sensitivity in your hands? I train people in my work, but the art on terror work is not an easy. We need some special people to take this course here above the three years course, above, in order to train them to do this, what they do here. So when I was discussing with you, there's two aspects of mitzvah besides the exercises. It's also the table work that is an important there's aspect. There's few things which uh, teachers of the mitzvah technique could do on the table. Mm -hmm. There's something they can't do. Mm -hmm. There's above. Oh, there's most of the people, I train them to do other things which I don't do. They do it. But I do something special mm -hmm. to unlock the head. I stand up with the head down, both knees bend. Two step forward, 
Now we're going to now see what will happen to here. Now I'm going to replace my head down. Head down. See what happens? Yes. Before it could, could bend down, now it bends. Now that we call molding of the body, molding the spine. He kind of, that's not for him, I do it. So see what I do here. Now with the, my hand, coordinate hands, I, I bring the interplay into force. I bring the spine to swing upwards, mm -hmm. or to the spine, the head lifts up. Which are they lifts up? Okay. Yeah. Slowly. Let it and lift up people up, up, stand up, 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 up. Now it's different. Pause here. One. And two. Avoid pushing down three. And four. Avoid, no, avoid pushing down four. And five. Or and six. You find deeper breathing emerge, allow it. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Now look straight. Now, enough. See? You are different. Mm -hmm. Now turn over to your side. Turn this way here. See? You the back. Watch your back. Straighter. Come see it. Yes. See? Mm -hmm. Straighter no. Mm -hmm. Straighter. Eh? Now is your hand less. Mm -hmm. You see it? Can you see it? Just from that sure, one better. movement on the table. Different. Mm -hmm. Now better breathing emerge. Better circulation emerge for sure. Mm -hmm. It is different. In few seconds, not minutes, seconds. Now, head down again, bend your knees, Alan, head down, head down, head down, head down, more, more, head down, no, head down, head down, that's good. Before you couldn't bend the head down, now you do. Now we're going to do it again. So I mold the body, I mold the spine. So what I bring, I bring the interplane to force between the spine, the between the spine, mm -hmm. then the interplay, they force the head forces the spine to rip it up and the head spring upwards. I just encourage him up, up, stand up straight, up, up, stand up, more, up, 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 more, up, up, higher, higher, higher. So all this will change soon. At the beginning, as the spine lengthens up, she has expanded so much. Mm -hmm. The back widens. Come here, back here, see it, straight up. Watch you. See you? Yeah. Then now, now this is only just temporary because it's bring more changes now. What you have to do is just drop chin down. Eh? A different. Mm -hmm. You find deeper breathing emerge, allow it. So, uh, Alan, can I ask you? Now turn over to the side here. Look in the mirror. Are you better? Look here. See? Do you notice Trail. your breathing better here? Yeah, now it feels more open. Now did here, it brings immediate and continue change the body. Now it's up to him to allow continuation, so what we do, in order for him not to slouch, we ask him, come Alan here, head down, and sit in the chair. Head down, head down, head down, lean backward, and that's the top, that, that I said. So, so, sitting this way here, Alan, will help not to slouch, not to poke the head. That's how we teach people to sit down, to avoid slouching, Lean backward. When you lean backward, do not lean on the shoulders, head and neck. If the, if the chair, if the back chair is too high, it's push you forward, then slouch again. So the chair shouldn't be so high, so you lean, if the chair is too high, you put the pillow behind, so you lean backward. When you sit this way for a while here, you feel an ease in your neck, maybe in body, maybe in mind. Why? Because the neck is holding the head not to fall backward, the neck muscles become to hit, become tired, so irritate you. Become to tremble. You don't feel the trembling, but you feel irritation in the neck, you feel at ease, you change position. What you do, you come forward here, slide backward, slide forward, lift up. We say, let your chest be lifted and put it any place you want. That's here about slouching. Sometimes, you feel the neck, but you, you move. Sometimes you feel the body, sometimes you feel the mind. Some you feel everything together, neck, body, mind. It tell you, you move again. Once you move in the right time, then you release the pressure of holding the head not to fall backward. Then gradually, you be able to sit up forward. Then sitting this way here will make you aware so much how long you have to sit forward without moving. Like in my case, when you feel an ease in my neck, I do this here. That's enough. I don't need no more. Or I do small one here. Changing the pattern of tension at the right time, you release tension. If you stay too long, then you get used to. 
and you accumulate more and more, become piles of muscles in your neck, and then you try to squeeze, that the head squeeze and lock up spine. I mean, you're in trouble. You might feel great, but you're in trouble. So we help you here. So That's what we do. Now, watch you before we start, finish it. Head down, put your hand here, head down, head down more. Now, slide back over here and slide back here, and lean backward, slide forward with your chest up. Slide forward, slide forward. Put your head any place you want. That's how you sit. To avoid slouching, that's how you teach people. Mm -hmm. So besides, this is a true educational program as well as the sessions here. Yeah, I mean, don't mm -hmm. slouch. You won't slouch for a few seconds, why not? Mm -hmm. But for hours and end, every day, for weeks, months and years, eh, okay. they cut up the neck, they make it doesn't work, become dormant. Okay, I would like to ask Alan, yeah. on those few minutes on the table, I know sometimes a lot of people don't feel any difference. What differences did you feel just with that few minutes on the table? I felt my breathing opened up and I was standing straighter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, that's interesting. I felt taller. <laughs> <laughs> now, here, look, Alan, that was big, bulky here. Come see it, see it. Yeah. Uh, this will go more, right. this will go more. I can see that it actually is down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we took 50% now, we'll take more. Okay. Next time. Well, thank you, Nehemia. Thank for your time. You. Thank you, Alan. Thank You're you. You're going to be here for the month, and we're going to see you in one month's time, see your progress. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you, Nehemia. God bless you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>